Motherfucker! That mute asshole, that fucking snake without a tongue, gave me this shithole instead of a pink slip? I must be the biggest fucking idiot in the whole fucking world. Holmes, take it easy. At least we're alive. Girl, friend, fellow traveler, relax, man. You're really killing my fucking vibe here. Well, I'm sorry I'm fucking up your vibe, old man, but I can't wait to get my hands on that mute and your bitch-ass cousin. My cousin? You're gonna diss my familia? My bad, man. I'm just pissed for all of us. I mean, look, we in a strange place. We got shit to our name, and for once, I try to make something work, this garage, and it ain't even a garage. Then make it into a garage. Oh. That's a great idea, sis. Won't you shut up? You know what, Carl? You are a fucking idiot. Your whole life you wanted something for nothing. Now you've got something and you don't know what to do with it. We'll make it good enough. We'll help, right? We got your back, CJ. Come on, stop tripping, man. Both of you. Whoa, man, the energy here is fantastic. Oh. Yeah, uh, all right. But how I'ma find some good mechanics to work up in here, man? I know a few guys. Come with me, friend. They're good people, I swear it. Oh, man, I'm about to ride with this fool again. Come on, man. There's these two guys I know. Used to work on marine engines. Till the mob bought their business over in Vice. Now they try and make ends meet by taking any old job. They're a little bit dull by their habit. But the smoke don't get in the way of their skills with an engine. We'll pick up Jethro first. Last I heard, he was working at a garage over in East Basin. Hey man, how you meet these dudes anyway? I met them at the 89th year of Lovin', apparently. Apparently? You know how it is, man. Feel the tents, crazy ass music, a quart of mescaline vodka, polar bears. Polar bears? Yeah, go figure. But they were funny guys, man. Great sense of humor. This here's Vietnamese gang territory. Dang boys, shining razors, butterfly children. Watch yourself, dude. These cats are real serious. Hey, Jethro. Hop in, man. I've landed you a real job. Hey there, Truth Dude. Oh, man. Do, do I owe you? Because I swear I paid for that weed, dude. No, man. We're good. I think. Jethro, Carl. Carl, Jethro. What's up, man? Can we swing by the hospital? It's over in Santa Flora District. West of here. Yeah. You sick? No. The government is. But that's a long story. So, you know, like, what's the deal, dudes? I'm opening the garage in Doherty by the waste ground. You know, car mods, low riders, all that shit. You damn? Two polar bears shit in the woods. No, but they've been known to shit in the liquor tent. If I remember it right. Yeah, that was like, so far gone. <laughs> What we here for anyway? Nothing. Oh, don't look. Cover your faces. Think about a yellow rubber duck. You tripping again. Shh. Okay. I've seen enough. <laughs> 
Let's go see if we can find Wayne. He's working a hot dog van at the tram terminal in Kings. Come on, dude, what's all that about? You don't want to know. Why? Do you know what a subdermal neurophone is? A what? Exactly. Sometimes it's best to stay in the dark, kid. Dog business. It's totally shit. Why? What's happening? Uh, my friend Carl here is opening a chop shop. Jethro's in. How about you? Uh, yeah, cool, man. Uh, I've got like some shit to take care of first, though. So, uh, you tell me where you guys are gonna be at, and I'll meet you dudes there. The garage is on the waste grounds in Doherty. I'll see y'all later. Okay, next stop, cop station downtown. What? You want your mom? Why? If I told you, the likelihood is you'd get a probe up your ass within a month. Like, listen to the man, dude. He's real serious about that shit. Well, uh, okay. But you're starting to freak me out with all that space shit, man. Okay, you know the drill. Don't look interested in anything. Picture a pink golf ball in your mind. Okay, we're good to go. Where to next, spacehead? There's an electronics guy I've had dealings with. Goes by the name of Zero. He could fix a supercomputer with a paperclip. He's got his own shop, but he's always ready to help fellow travelers along the path. Let's go introduce you to him. Look, what's going on, True? Look, what's going on, True? Who was him dude? Don't go there. Listen to Jethro. Now, what if I told you we never went to the moon? JFK <laughs> lives in Scotland with Janis Joplin. And the only reason we've been in a Cold War for the last 45 years was because snake-headed aliens run the oil business. I think you popped another micro dot. Good. Keep it that way. Alone, Berkeley. This is stalking. Oh, hey, truth. Get in. I'll fill you in as we drive. Home, James. Carl, zero. Zero, Carl. Sup? Carl here is opening a garage around the corner. I told him you're the man to speak to when it comes to electronics. <laughs> Actually, I'm the only man to speak to. <laughs> Grade A tip top genius. That's me. You should drop by the shop sometime. See some of my shit, bro. I'll do that. Okay, we here. A week of hard work, and we'll transform this place. Hey, Caesar, come over here. What's up, B? Caesar, this Jethro, Dwayne, and Zero. Hey, man, dude. Salutations, my sibling. Orale, let's get to work. Hey, hey, Carl, look. I think I found a way for us to get paid. I ain't going to no college to study no account. No, idiot, property. 
Decorating ain't exactly my thing either. No, property development. Look, you buy a dump like this, fix it up, and sell it. Or better yet, you turn the property into a business. The snowball gets bigger. I don't know, sis. This all sound big time to me. Look, Carl, this place is gonna get on its feet, and when it does, we are gonna have money. If you wanna make something of yourself, you gotta let your money work for you. Look, I wouldn't even know where to start. Look, you two concentrate on the garage and let me work the property thing, okay? Yeah, that's my baby girl right there, Holmes. <laughs> Man, you chose her. I'm stuck with her. <laughs>
Everybody gets the green light for action! Simon. Bye, baby. Cuídate, amorcita. Hey there. I should steal your... Uh. myself very seriously. I got kids, you know. Hello? This we tip? I seen something highly suspicious you should come check out. You know who you're fucking with here? I'll have your badge, you moron! Shut up! You find anything back there? Found anything? He's got half of Mexico in here. Must be two tons of Mary here. What? But but I've never seen. How could it be? Hell of a defense you got there, buddy! What? Sorry, Carl. Are you busy? Zero? Nah, man. Good to hear from you. What's up? Disaster. My landlord is selling the shop. I'll have nowhere to live and no safe haven from Berkeley. Ah, oh, I'm looking to invest in some property at the moment. Maybe I'll swing by. Get out of here. You're attracting flies. Make a full hat. Hey, I got a job to do with you.
What up, Carl? What the fuck is going on? Do I look like a hooker to you? What? Those assholes keep saying shit to me. Who said this to you? Fucking structure workers up that hill. I'ma fuck them up. Nah, hold up. I got this. I need to go teach him a little respect, huh? That's right. Yeah. I've been thinking about getting me some new land anyway. your hard hat. It's my constitutional right, bitch. You don't need this no more. All that damn clatter! Holy crap! I didn't see nothing. I'm going after him. Bully your wife, not me.
DJ. You got it? Hey, my cousin just called me. He gave me a tip about a baller's car going to San Fierro to score yay. Shit. We gotta find out who's supplying those cats. Read your mind, Holmes. I picked them up at the Mulholland intersection, and I'm trailing them now. Okay, I'm coming to meet you. Better make it fast, Holmes. These boys are hanging around. You okay? I hope not.
happy, Holmes. Where we going? They were headed over Angel Pine Way. Follow the road and maybe we can pick them up. There it is, Holmes! Watch! You sure head! This business is bigger than any gang, S.A. Ryder, little bitch! This guy take himself real serious. That's T-Bone Mendez! What now? Is that it? Hey, who's the gringo? I don't like the look of that guy. This more than a few thugs pushing product. It's a serious organization. How many of these clowns are there? Ah, oh, I know a pimp when I see one. They being clever about this. It ain't no exchange of nothing incriminating.
That was some heavy shit! We better split up and get out of here. I'll meet you back at the garage, eh? Coolio, we got what we came for anyway. Yeah, what? Yo, man! It's Jethro, dude! Hey, Jethro, what up? Well, I was talking to Caesar, and, uh... Don't get me wrong, dude. I mean, you are one out there dude when it comes to driving, man. But Caesar, he told us how many cars you get through, dude. And me and Dwayne were like, whoa! What is your point, Jethro? No, no point, man, no point. Jeff said there's an advanced driving school, like... Just up the road from the garage, man. Like in Doherty. Driving school? Man, exactly what you trying to say, man. Nothing, man, nothing. It was Dwayne's idea. I think you're, you know, cool and shit. I, I better go, CJ. I'll see you later. <laughs> That's crazy, man. What are you looking at exactly? Hey, cabron. Hey, man, you get them flicks developed? What's up, woozy? Hey, Carl. I was just explaining to your brother-in-law that we were friends. Oh, yeah? Well, look, Woozy, I need to get some info from you, man. And what exactly do you boys want to know? Who are these putas, Holmes? Why don't you go take a look? These guys? Yeah. They're the loco syndicate. They're pretty big time, I think. Don't have any dealings with them. We don't touch blow. Now, this guy runs things. I don't know his name. This guy is T-Bone Mendez. He's the muscle. And who's that guy? That's Jizzy B. He's the biggest pimp in town. He helps set up the deals. You know, uh, concierge of sorts. Hey, did he my way in? How I get to him? Oh, Jizzy? Jizzy runs the Pleasure Domes Club in that old fortress under the Gant Bridge. Hey, good looking out, Woozy. No problem. Don't be a stranger. All right.
going on? See, baby, I got everything. Mink sheets, mink coats, mink curtains in the window. When I walk down the stairs, I'm walking down on mink car. Now, who's this trick? I don't need no more friends, baby. All they try to do is peel me from my hole. Nah, nah, it ain't about them. It's all about you, player. I heard you was the man with the hookup, and you was the man I needed to see. I'm offering my services. Say what? Yes, sir. See, I'm new in town. Anything you want, I can do. For a guy like me to work with, to work for, a guy like Jizzy B? Well, well now that you mention it, I do have a slight problem. Something a little dumb muscle like yourself might be able to fix. Because you see me, <laughs> I'm intellectual. <clears throat> Bitches, y'all walk on down to the bar and fix a pimp a drink. Mm, mm, mm. See, I only got two eyes, and in these streets, you got to have more than that. You got to be like a flying shit, you know? A hundred eyes everywhere. Now some lunatic been fucking with my bitches. Motherfucker killed two last week. I want you go find out. No problem. You my player partner now, Jizzy. Wait up, Mr. C to the J. See that pretty young thing in my car? Drop her off at the hotel downtown. Use my car phone and give me a ring a ding when you're done. And watch the rims, player. Treat that baby like the Pope Mobile. Boy, what a strong bitch, huh? Ever had half and half with a sucia like me? Yeah, go on. I'll do things your Ruka won't. I'm listening, honest. I'm no slut, but I need the feria. Uh-huh, real interest. Whatever, puto. Later, Esse. Hey, Jizzy, it's Carl. I just dropped off your girl. Church, got a little errand for you to run before you deal with that problem I was just talking about. Some young buck thinks he's a player been trying to peel my holes over in Hashbury. Now, one of my girls over there just eyeballed the punk. I want you to get your ass over there and ice that pretender. Here comes my player, now you in real trouble. Square, you have no business touching me. Hey, it's CJ. Just to let you know, you don't have to worry about no competition in Hashbury. Where are we? 
Did I say I was worried? No, I did not. Now to the real deal. Some of my girls in the Foster Valley been getting knuckled over. I want you to get your ass up there, nose around. Find out what's going on. Mr. Jizzy, it's CJ. You the bad luck charm, Flunky! That girl you dropped off downtown wants out of the game. Her sugar daddy wants to take her off the streets. Nobody turns my hoe. You get your ass back to the hotel, and you make an example out of all of them. Set me to save your threadbare soul, harlot. Get in the car and remove your filthy vestments so I may better gaze upon thy corruption. Driver! Get us out of here before the devil's right hand snatches this poor girl from salvation. Right away, your evangelical holiness.
Everything's been taken care of, Mr. Jizzy. Oh, CJ, you the player's right hand, baby. Oh, and by the way, that car's just come up over on the ATV. Dump it, keep it, whatever. Just keep it away from me, my hoes, and my club. Oh, for sure, you got that, man. Now just listen to me, okay? Now it's very important that you listen to me. I ain't no weak child, amigo. What you think? What, what, what you and Mike think? I'm just a pretty face to y'all? Is that y'all game? Now this here is the dumb muscle that I was talking about. Carl T-Bone and in reverse. Sup? Orale, listen. Don't mind him, uh, we go way back. Hey, Holmes, don't be such a beachy liability. Liability? Liability for what? Now, there's three of us and I'm getting 20%. What type of math is that? That's fool's math, player. You and me. I sell my soul to you guys. And that's what it's going to come down to, huh? Screwing me out of my 13%. You knew the deal. You agreed. Besides, we could have said 5%. And what would and, you And what, what, what? Cat got your tongue? You as bad at talking as he is at mathematics? Hey, you wanna make this shit personal, I say? Hello? Yeah. What? Man. Damn. Hey, man, I gotta bounce. Oh, no, you don't. I invented that trick, baby. Carl, <laughs> come with me. We gonna have to bust us a couple of melons up in here. What do you mean the shit has been ambushed? We can't just go out there, T-Bone. It could be a DEA trap.
T-Bone, pump your brakes, baby. Take a chill pill and just lay back and let the red mist fall, brother. Hey, Holmes, open your eyes, dog. Can't you see we're getting messed with here, Holmes? Hey, partner, T-Bone, look, it's Carl. Now, he's a real hero out there. Say. See, we still good. What, are you Vato stupid? Someone's on to us. We need to go back and rethink. I think they was just trying their luck. Mike, Mike, I've been trying to contact you. What? Oh, man, who are you? Okay, just keep talking. Hey, Holmes, Mike's in trouble. Let's bounce. What trouble? Who was Mike? Man, they taking the yay shipment and the van, and Mike's still in the back. Well, what are we gonna do? How the fuck we gonna know where he's he is? He's got his phone. He's gonna talk to us till his battery runs out. Come on, we gotta bounce. All right, let's jet. Gotta make this quick. Mike doesn't got much time on his battery left. He says he can hear seagulls. Mike can hear gulls. Seagulls? Shit, that could be anywhere in this town. He can hear heavy machinery. Seagulls and heavy machinery? What is that, a building site or landfill or something? There's a building site in Doherty. Hey, just hang in there, Mike. Help is on the way. He says he can hear a truck reversing. He says it's busy like a freight depot or something. Freight? Oh, they must be down at the docks. Get to the docks in Easter Basin! <laughs> hey, we'll be there in a minute, Mike. Cell phone batteries running low. Shit, he says they stopped, then he heard gunfire. He thinks they just shot their way through a security gate. They don't have heavy security at the docks, but they do at the airport's freight depot. To the airport, rapido. In their aircraft taking off and landing. Movie, movie, please. Hey, don't worry, Mike, we're nearly there. There's the gate and some dead security guards. Hey, this is the place. Keep your eyes peeled for that van. Okay, the tag should work now, Holmes. Tag? What the hell is a tag? After that last bit of trouble, Mike hid the transponder in the white. We was gonna follow it to the gang, but something must have fucked up. And now we gotta use it to find the van and rescue Mike. Oh, how it work? Simple. The closer we get, the stronger the shit. There they are!
Hey, man, come on. Hurry up. Apurate, apurate. It's about time, T-Bone. Who the fuck is this? Hey, that's one of Jizzy's clowns. Relax, Wero. You hear that? We gotta torch this van with the coke in it. Hey, Charlie, Wero, we ain't torching nada. This is a setback, but doing 20 to life is a little more than that. Comprende, amigo? Hey, right, man. Let's do it and get the hell out of hey, here. Hey, who the fuck asked you, payaso? This ain't a committee. Exactly. I call the shots here. Now shut up and let's go. How long you been working for Jizzy? I haven't seen you before. Just got into town last week. I've done a couple jobs here and there. Just got into town, huh? Where were you before that? Hey, what is this? Man, just answer the fucking question. Look, man, chill. I've been in Los Santos with my family, all right? Give me his wallet. What? Hey, get off! Quit struggling and concentrate on the road. Here you go, Mike. Carl Johnson, huh? All right, I've seen enough here. Hey, it was a dub in there. Better still be there when I check it. Shut the fuck up. Okay, Carl Johnson. You did good today. Man, now shake the spot. We got shit to talk about.
Suspect left the in a green four door. Hey, Caesar. The Yay leaving San Piero, right? Right, but they're using bikes, CJ, and they go cross country. Not right now. I gotta check into some shit. Hey, what's up? Hey, Carl, it's Woozy. Hey, if you got some time, I'd like for you to come over so we can talk about something. Yeah, for sure. Where you at? I own a little betting shop in Chinatown. Just come around and uh, introduce yourself. My people will be expecting a visit. It's a plan, man. Later. is the African Revolution. Hello? Carl, it's Zero. Oh, hi, Z. You wasn't around when I signed the deeds. Yes, I know. I was on a dangerous reconnaissance mission deep into enemy territory. Uh, yeah, right, sure, whatever you say. I should come through and have a look at the business, you know? Oh, of course, of course. I'll have to tidy up a bit. This place is such a mess. Don't worry about it. I'll drop in soon. Jizzy, what's going on? Well, my business associates, they need a little assistance. And I thought of you, friend. Meet T-Bone at the gas station next to the docks in the Easter Basin. He's waiting for you in a four-door sedan. Excuse me, partner, I got a call coming in. A river dirty. Yeah, whatever you say. Bye. Man, where the hell are everybody anyway? Ah, uh, hey! You a pinchy uh, hoota or what? Uh, what the hell? You think you can mess with uh, me? Uh, I, I will blow uh, your head off and rape and kill your family, you snake! Uh, you think you can fucking bullshit me and fuck me over? Uh, I know your uh, fucking game, uh, Essie. 
I don't know what you're talking about, man. Ah, my throat! Who you working for? Nobody! Turn around and look at me. <coughs> man, I'm just trying to make some money. Keep my mouth shut, I swear, man. <laughs> I almost had you, man. I almost fucking had you. <coughs> Watcha? You gotta be careful in this business, man. You know that. Are you boys done playing around? Yeah, we're straight, Bato. Oh, good. That's great. Now, we gotta go meet this shipment. We're late as it is. Let's go. You heard what Heffy said. Get out and grab a bike. The shipment has to get to the factory. You make sure it does, we make it worth your while. We're watching you, kid. See more, Nessie. We're watching. society.
You wanna hold me? Okay, we made it, but the cops gonna be all over the spot real soon. Get the van out of sight. I'm gonna get out of here. Hey, what up, Z? Nothing is up, Carl, apart from my blood pressure and the imminent collapse of my hopes and dreams. Why? As usual, the forces of darkness have triumphed over good. Life is nothing but misery, briefly interspersed with agony. Homie, what you own? Whatever it is, you need to reduce the dosage. Excuse me, but I never take drugs. We all know drugs are for losers and or sex maniacs. And right now, sex is the last thing on my mind. Thank God for that. Berkeley is back. Oh, Berkeley. Yes. Who the fuck is Berkeley? Oh, just a man I once beat in fair competition. A man literally obsessed with revenge. Oh, you put hands on him? No, please. <laughs> I never initiate violence. Oh, I know. You knocked his bitch. Uh, no. I won the prize in the science fair. <laughs> First prize, that is. And now you want to pop you? <laughs> no. And they say gangbangers is petty as small-minded. Hey, what's that bleeping sound? That's him. We shall fight to the end. Berkeley's launched a full-scale attack. This is insanity! All batteries commence fire! He's going for my transmitters! If he takes them out, I'll never be able to launch a counter-attack. No problem, man, but they're only toys. They're not toys. They're just smaller. CJ, bogey's at 12 o'clock!
Kopi. Lee, as long as we have opposable thumbs, we will fight you. Well done, Carl. Now leave. I must prepare for the battles ahead. Never have so few owed so many. Too little three... No, that's not it. What is it? We will fight him on the beaches. Well, rooftops. Hey, Z, where you at? Go away, Carl. I'm, I'm very, very busy back here. Top, top secret stuff, not for your eyes. Too sensitive. Come on, homie, where are you? I said go away, Carl. I don't need any friends today. Thank you. <laughs> Man, them some pretty strong draws. Yes, my hero. Carl, he came back and humiliated me. I shall probably turn to prostitution now where I will be found dead and broken. I am a 28-year-old man whose landlord just helped him down from a hook from which I had been hanging from my underwear, contemplating my inadequacy for nearly two hours. Ow, my crack. Look, you gotta get even, homie. What kind of weapons you got? Uh, I've got a prototype of a miniature plane. Huh, <laughs> well with that plane, we gonna go humiliate Burke. <clears throat> Okay, cool. Man, this is ridiculous. That went right up my crack. Berkeley has his sycophantic lackeys do all his deliveries. Well, we shall hit him where it hurts the most. Bring his mail order model business to its knees. Deliveries. Launch the Red Baron.
Carl. Ha! Only three delivery boys left.
You know that ozone smell? It smells like victory. What's happening, Zero? I'm off to engage with destiny, good or bad. What the hell are you talking about now? The hour of judgment is upon me, and I must ask myself if I am a sheep or a goat. Carl, will you be my second? Here are some letters. I've left everything to you in case I don't make it. Please. Already own it! What's wrong with you, man? We are crossing the Rubicon. I am to engage in battle with Berkeley. At stake, honor, and our very lives. It's funny. I've never noticed before how beautiful this time of year can be. I may never again see Rome in the springtime. <laughs> a butterfly. Come on with all the talking, man. Is you gonna battle Berkeley or what? It's a fight to the death! Come hither! Behold! No man's land. Man, y'all take this shit seriously. Berkeley's headquarters is across no man's land. I'll drive the bandit, you fly the goblin, and help any way you can. If I get the bandit into Berkeley's base, he must leave San Fierro for good. Let battle commence! Carl, don't be an idiot. Use the goblin to move that barrel. Berkeley's using tanks. Carl, grab a bomb and get rid of any tanks that threaten our progress. Carl, I'm blocked! There's another cursed barrel in the way! Move it! Carl, Berkeley's blocked me again!
Curse you, Berkeley! Carl, move that barrel! Carl, move that obstruction! Carl, I'm blocked! Shitskies! Carl, this bandit's nearly had it! Oh my god! Berkeley shot this bandit up pretty good! Shite! Carl! This bandit's nearly had it! Carl, this bandit's nearly had it. Oh my god. Berkeley shot this bandit up pretty good. Shite! Carl, this bandit's nearly had it. There's another cursed barrel in the way. Shitskies! Carl, this bandit's nearly had it. Ha ha! Ha! Berkeley, you, sir, are a loser. Leave the field of battle in shame, pack up your crummy mail order business, and get out of my town! Carl, you are all a duelist like me could want in a second. Sir? I salute you. Hey, CJ. What's up? Hey, what's up, Jethro? Some cops are looking for you in the office, man. Damn, Pin. All right, man, I got mm -hmm. it. Nice to see y'all kicking back. Oh. I wonder how your brother's sleeping. Curled up next to his shower daddy while you live comfortably on the outside. What y'all want this time? Well, what we want is to get on with our jobs in peace, 
without some damn bleeding heart liberal poking his nose into affairs he won't even understand. The press on the uh? What the hell would you know about it, boy? Whoa, easy there, Eddie. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. Some young journalist out there is trying to get a name for himself. He doesn't know how the streets work. That he's supposed to report what he's supposed to report. Yeah, anyway, we need you to shut him up for us. And that stoolie. Shut him up, too. Yeah, that's some reporter who's digging up dirt on Pulaski. We don't know who's talking, but we know the reporter's meeting him today. Take care of him. Oh, this is a nice place, Carl.
Don't push me. It's only a core crime, fool. Go. Who the hell do you think you are? I'd Watch kick your it. ass, but I'd mess up my hair. Oh, oh. 